the food didn't do anything to me because I'm sick. There's someone in front of us. Oh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Man, it's getting good. We're getting a little bit towards the end of uh, this last chapter here. Not the end of the game, but... Uh, boy, you guys will see. <laughs> We're going to go meet up with this snake, Micah. Because I want to get rid of all his damn stuff. Uh, missions already and then well maybe we got time we'll meet up with rain's fall yep. to talk to him about his son and him son doing uh taking matter to his own hands with the people that hate his kind oh uh, there he is dude i hate this man ah there he is old black lung morgan shut up was you followed excuse me was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, then, girl. I cannot stand Micah. Idiot. <laughs> Have fun, boys. Micah says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> The pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head on. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Well, it's not that Arthur Morgan has gone soft. He just has more clarity of what's oh. going on. Okay. Let's hold up here. Most so, of these people in the gang, they're a bunch of idiots. From Down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead... And I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you—you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now. I think it'll be quite the show. No, oh, boy. All right.
So I'm guessing right here. Wait for Bill to attack. There he is. <laughs> Try to get the uh, the driver. Come on, let's get you out of. Oh boy. buddy come on <laughs> not the best uh, shooter but well the best aim but here we are if he drives that means there will be people behind us yep Alright, let's see if we can get this back to camp without he's blowing a, He's gonna want up. me to shoot them. Nice That's shooting back there. It always happens. If I'm driving, it'll be a mostly a peaceful ride to where we gotta go. But when the computer, the AI drives, just never goes easy no more. That just means that there's gonna be some people that I'm gonna have to shoot. Oh shit! Deal with them, Arthur! Okay, what did I tell you? Oh man, there's one. There was no law in Vanport. Does that really matter? Oh, got him. I was about to uh, take this one that. No, wait a minute. What's going on? This one. Shoot them, Arthur, before they blow us to high hell. There's nobody here, dude. Relax. He's even... Oh my goodness. But don't blow up the freaking wagon, man. I'm all right, Arthur. I just gotta be very careful not to run out of red eye just in case. Oh, I didn't even. I took it, but. The food didn't do anything. I'm sick. There's someone in front of us. Oh! He just ran over somebody. <laughs> Look! Look! Right there! <laughs> Close. Don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite to blow up a bridge. This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with a moment. There's Micah up ahead. Great. Yeah, great. I'm excited to see Whoa. So, him. You got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge, 
Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. I'm telling you guys, he's a piece of work. Hey, Jenny, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Yeah, let me give her some it's some okay, food. Girl, just okay, so I'm not mistaken. Now we have John's mission that we're gonna, like Micah said, blow up this bridge of Sadie right there. I don't know where. He went, but I did wanted to do uh, no, not that rain's fall mission. But my goodness, I am wanted everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to rainfall guys. So I'm gonna head that way, and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so we finally made it here. No guns allowed. My goodness, this guy was, uh, it felt like forever. I mean, the good thing is, that, oh, okay. They want to hitch. The good thing is that the, the whole Red Dead Redemption 2 world is so awesome, so beautiful. But my goodness, the, <laughs> to get it, it took a minute, guys. I got attacked like twice by some, uh, some bad men. Had to put them down. But the important part is that we're here. Let's go talk to Rainfall. What's up, little chickens? Well, all of them chicken. Look at them. Chicken nuggets. Is he in here? I think so. Hello? Come in. You don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. <sighs> um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, 
It won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Alrighty. Got us freaking adding to our mission logs. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. I think the chief went the other way, sir. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Oh, I think this is when uh Arthur has a conversation with Rainfalls here about like personal matters. You learn a little bit more about Arthur Morgan's background. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Good. There was no need to harm them. Freaking horse got startled. <laughs> yeah. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. Let's go. Come on. It's best we stay together now. What was I talking about? Ah. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Let's go. We can rest when we get there. It's oh. a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Yeah! So... We don't know each other too well, but... I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Hold up a moment. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. I don't know if it's just me or it's like the, the horse is like stalling. She doesn't want to go. Right. 
This is what I was looking for. English mace. Nice. Okay. Let's continue on. I'll see the reservation. Arthur's son. Yeah, let's talk about that. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them and shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Man, I freaking love that quote. You don't live a bad life and expect good things to happen to you. Like, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I can't even Whoa. talk to him about Wait. anything anymore. Stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. This is so calming too, from everything we've been going through. And hearing Arthur reflect about his past, it's, it's freaking amazing, man. I love Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan will this forever will be well. one of my favorite protagonists. You know, he's up there with, you know, Joel Miller, with Kratos, you know, just... One of the best, man. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. All right. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. Nice. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Monroe Arthur Sickness. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it. If I could give him that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. See, I mean, we're not going shooting and robbing stakes coaches in this mission, but the all the content, the context that's behind these conversations are amazing. I hear what he, Rain, Rainfall said. He's like. He knows that I'm dying, but he says you can still do so much. And Arthur, knowing that he's dying, he still wants to help out those people from his gang that can still have a life. Who does that? Not anybody bad. Not anybody with the black heart. Arthur Morgan is genuinely one of the greatest video game characters to ever live. You know, he's not selfish, man, and that's why his story is so tragic and, and it hits people a lot harder and he's freaking awesome man okay we still can't talk to him i know the other guy that we met that monroe guy we're gonna have a mission with him where we gotta sneak into a little camp but that's for later that's for another day right now Enjoy the view, enjoy just this soothing mission, man. Just freaking awesome. It's just up ahead. Alright, 
That was funny. I was listening to Jack Black, the video game song What's that he made. Happened? No. Uh oh. It can't be. He says Red Dead Redemption 2 is like sh it's not a video game. It's like Shakespeare. <laughs> uh oh. No. They destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Man. Oh, no. Wrong one. Oh, inspect. There we go. I cannot believe this. Thank you. It looks like they was doing some drinking. This is a place of peace. No, not everybody has the same. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> the same mentality of peace. This is a place of peace. Uh, there's usually More over here. Oh, there's a flask right here. Hold on. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Have a look at this. I'm going. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. All right. Let's see. I see it. Where you at? You gotta make me go back up there. <laughs> Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These... Brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Oh, boy. Well, you can't go. they know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do, uh... Yeah, this is the mission I was talking about yeah, with that guy, uh... Monroe. I thought we were supposed to do the mission with him, but I guess not. I right, get to the camp. Yeah, we're gonna, if I remember correctly, we're gonna have to sneak in there and get the item here for uh, rain's fall. I'm sure that's what it is. I, I don't think we, I believe we can't kill anybody. 
Even though it hasn't really said not to kill anybody. So much for having a peaceful ride, guys. Peaceful afternoon. It's funny how he's going down the hill. I totally nice forgot enough. where it was. In Somewhere here in the middle. I think it's here straight sure, ahead. I'm up near the Canadian border someplace. Canada? Uh, they got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. And French folk, too. No. Is France near Canada then? No. Uh, France is near. Is near France. Oh, well, boy. it's in France. Indians is from here. Okay. What's that? Where are you from? Me? Hey. We got an intruder. Stop it. Well, I heard something. I didn't want to shoot them, but. Oh, I, I, my honor, man. I didn't think that guy was going to see me happen to just look my direction oh boy I really don't want to shoot these guys they're gonna mess up my honor oh my goodness Get behind this. All right, guys. Well, so much for for peace, right? Not the way I wanted to do that, guys. Like, at all. Because I remember you can come in here and... Um, what's it called? You can come in here stealth-like, but this thing is right in the middle of them. See, if it, if it wasn't meant to be stealth-like, I wouldn't have lost honor when I shot that guy. You know. Alright, let's go. I don't even think any of my drinks are helping. There we go. See, I had this episode, like this mission with Rainsfall, it was so peaceful. And uh, the last thing I wanted to do is go in here blast people, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Let's go talk to him and we'll call it a day, guys. Yeah, because I remember, well, I was wrong about this being a mission with Monroe. I remember you could have gone in here, stealth like, steal the stuff, but the items were right next to the people who by the campfire, so it makes sense that we had to kill them. 
Arthur's feeling it, man. I don't have anything. There you go. My energy. There we go. Now I'm unstoppable. <laughs> He's tired though. He's walking really slow. Please tell me you found it. I had to kill a bunch of people, but I found it. Here. I uh, I got your things, uh, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Alrighty, guys. Arcology for beginners. We got something else that just popped up on the map. Let's see. Ah, uh, we have a bunch of these question marks. Oh, uh, yeah, the CM. Look, uh, Captain Monroe. Yeah, well, we'll do that next time. Um, I got Sadie. We got John. John is the one with the... Yeah, we had to blow up a bridge. So we'll probably do this one next time around. But for now, guys, this is where I'm going to stop the video. I think it was a pretty interesting uh, part here. We uh, helped us snake Micah, still a state coach, with explosives. And then we helped Brainsfall gather his supplies and learn a little bit more of Arthur's past, which I always love. But... Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like always, love you. And I'll see you guys next time.